In Fraction Mixup, players in grades 3 through 6 play three different rounds. In each round, they create whole numbers of pies by combining fractions given visually or verbally. To play this game, you need the Fraction Mixup cards and a six-sided die. You also need one sheet of pie graph paper per player. Other things that would be good to have for each player are a sheet protector, a dry erase marker and eraser, a full sheet of paper to make a card holder, and scrap paper. Here are directions to make the paper holder needed for this activity. Fold a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper in half so the fold is parallel to the short side of the paper. All folds are parallel to each other. Fold the folded edge up about an inch. Keeping the paper folded, flip it over so the one inch fold is facing away from you. Fold the holder in half again. For round one, players work together to create whole pies. Deal four cards face up on the table in front of each player. Players can see each other's hands. They take turns playing one of their cards, then choosing a card from another player to try to make a whole pie. They should use the pie graph paper to draw each fraction. Here, we can see a player playing five one six pieces of a whole from his hand. He colors in that part of a pie cut into six. Then, he points at another card two twelfths of a whole. The player colors in two parts of a pie that is cut into twelfths, then notices that it is the same size as one part of a pie cut into sixths. The player transfers that amount to complete the pie cut into sixths. In round two, deal each player four cards. Players place their cards in a card holder facing away from them. Players can see each other's cards, but cannot see their own. Players take turns playing cards from their hand. Because they cannot see their own cards, they need hints from others. Players can give each other information about a card. They can either tell the player how many pieces of a pie the card has, or they can tell the player how many pieces the whole pie has. Pause the video to study this example. Here we can see a player playing a card and modeling it on the pie graph paper. Then the player gives a hint to another player by saying that card is cut into sixths. The player's turn ends. Play moves to the left. This round ends once you cannot make any more whole pies. In round three, players generate a random goal using a die and a fraction mix-up card. In this round, they cannot see their own cards and again must rely on the hints of others. Here, we can see a player rolling a two on the die and drawing a card that says two eighths of a whole. Then, the players play the game trying to achieve the goal of two and two eighth pies. While playing this game, here are some things to think about. Suppose a player plays a card equivalent to seven twelfths, and there is no five twelfth cards on the table. What can you do to make a whole pie in this case? What fractions are needed to finish the whole pie? What fractions in the fraction mix-up cards are equivalent? If you are stuck, ask yourself these questions. Is there another name for the fraction I'm working with? Is it equivalent to any others? If players are struggling to make whole pies, restrict the types of fractions to halves, thirds, sixths, and twelfths. Use subtraction. Allow players to use subtraction of fractions to reach a goal exactly. 
Write number sentences. As players make whole pies, they must record the fractions they are adding or subtracting. Fraction mix-up is a fun way to get better at adding fractions. Remember to have fun while playing!